Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the 100 Day Survival Series with the Man in the Fog. The first video did super well. I appreciate you guys. Here's some of the builds that we've progressed so far in the seven days that we've been playing for this part. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I love it. I love you guys so much. We got this guy again stalking us once more, being real creepy. And we got a little special little visitor that we've seen, very popular, known as the Cave Deller. I mean, look at him. You can barely even see him right now. And right now, he's just being creepy. Like, look at him. Oh, there he goes. Being weird. And then we also got beautiful caves. Look at this. Beautiful lava pits. Gorgeous. And I'm about to show you another shot of this beautiful lava pit. I don't know why I loved it so much. But yeah. And then we got another scene. Him being creepy in the swamp. With all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you for the two subscribers. It may not sound like a lot, but it's a lot to me. Anyways, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the 100 Day Survival Series, and today I'm in the vast great plains in Minecraft. Beautiful sun sunrise and everything going on, and for some reason, this guy here of mine in the corner of my eye, still watching me by the way, and I think eventually he follows me along, along the way home, because I'm trying to find my way home right now, and this is what happens when you look at him. <laughs> Holy shit, go away! Go! Oh my god, go away! Oh my god! Go oh, away, bro. please! As you saw there, hereby chased me for so long I had to cut the footage. He chased me all the way home for some reason, and all he gave me was some blindness and a little bit of heart and damage. So next time he does that, I'm just gonna let him hit it. But anyways, as you see, the sun is going down right now, and I just made it in time for the sunset. The sunset is one of the best parts of this playthrough for me because it's calming. It helps us refresh our minds. And next morning, I went exploring after the sun rose up and saved us once again from the man of the fog. And I'm pretty sure I was looking for food as well. And I saw this cool ass mushroom that I wanted to show y'all. Oh, whoa. It's a big ass mushroom. Oh yeah, I seen those before. There was these dead bodies in the mushroom. It was pretty scary. I don't know why they were in there, probably performing some cult ritual. But after I went out the mushroom, I saw these crabs and turns out later on, they're very important. After I killed those crabs, there was a village hut next next to them. I think it's like a wandering trader hut. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a village, just a little hut, small hut. And it turns out they had no beds, and I did not know that until it was too late. There's no beds. There's no beds. Uh huh. D Dominic, I'm scared. So instead of, you know, booking it and going back, I decided to stay the night inside this hole because, you know, I couldn't, I don't want to get killed by the man in the fog and lose all my stuff. And now, I, me, we both can't sleep, so we, I decided to just stay there and he showed up. Oh, f he's after me now, dude. Mm -hmm. Dude, I, I hear him. I hear him. And my stuff broke. I think he just realized that I'm not worth the trouble of digging a, like a shit ton of blocks down, but he went away and of course time passed and it was finally morning and I got to enjoy the sunrise, of course. Oh, sweet heaven, it's morning. So as soon as daybreak broke, I took some, you know, food with me because that's what I also came here for. And I also took the camel and he's terribly slow. It was, a, I regret taking him and he could jump hella far for some reason. And something bad happened with this jump mechanic. Oh, oh, oh. What is it, sir? Oh my God. Oh. I fell in those spider den! I fell into a spider den! Yeah, dude. There's eggs everywhere! Fuck the camel, bro. So I decided to leave the camel because I there was no way I could have got back up with him. And I went up to see the sunrise 
And it turns out that something was chasing us. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to go on night look. Do this, do this. What the hell? Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Whoa, I'm getting up with you. Uh-uh. That was some kind of ancient beast. And it's it, night you night feel night. like something is chasing you? What is that supposed to mean? What the fuck? So the guy didn't end up ending attacking, uh, apparently we felt like it was chasing us so it wasn't actually there or something. I don't know if what the game was going for, but anyways, that guy was watching us of course and something really funny happened because Dominic decided to go into my sword, but to be fair I swung first so I shouldn't have done that. Are you hitting me off, No! You fell into it, I swear to god! You fell into that! You fell into that, bro! I was gonna miss and then make it look like I was gonna hit you! <laughs> After him purposely getting in my way, totally not my fault by the way, I've done a little bit of landscaping to clear out the lower area of, the, of the, our base, and I just made like a, like a little pen for, for the animals. Bro! You're drugging me! You get away from me! Oh, I'm so dizzy. After that horrific drug incident, I decided to make a better way to get up to the base, to like, so we don't have to climb and everything. And I was very dedicated to this. I wanted to, to get as much done as possible for this bridgeway. But after that, we were running low on iron because I was mining with a wooden pick. So we decided to go to the caves, and it took a while. It took us a while to find one, but eventually we did find one. As we're in the caves right now, Dominic decides to take his sweet ass time to to come help me. But this one was a this one was horrible, by the way. We had to find a whole new one. It, there was nothing in there. Oh, there you are, sir. Oh, I'm lagging. So this is the new cave that we found, and it was much better than the last one. The last one was horrible. But it turns out nighttime he can be in caves, and that was not a good sign for us. His whistle sounds close. That was him. He's he's in here! He's in here! Go go! go. Oh! He's coming after you! Run! Oh my god! He's gone! He's gone! He's gone! He's gone! I did not know he was able to do that. That is horrifying. So he's able to teleport in the caves as we are doing our thing. So we end up hiding the rest of the night, of course. <laughs> Oh my god! Are you dead? No. Was it a far drop? <laughs> yeah, but there's water you too. <laughs> Whoa! This is cool! Oh my god. After that trust fall, a leap of faith, whatever you call it, we found this beautiful, beautiful cave. This Look at the scenery, but with big caves comes <laughs> great responsibility if you know what I mean. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, it's those fake diamonds. Oh, that means you don't know which one's the real one. Yeah, because it's just the text on the bottom. It's just my one at a time. That's a fake. So, after those fake diamonds faking us out, remember what I said with big caves comes great responsibility or awareness at least yeah it turns out when i said that i meant it you know and here's what i mean by that he's here he's here he's here cave dweller oh shit. yeah i'm uh Where'd he go? 
<laughs> After that horrific encounter of Dominic deciding to break the block and dying it by standing there letting him hit him, we decide I decided to light the place up. That's why I broke it. Once I decided to light the place up, the mob spawn has decreased dramatically, but for some reason we found this little thing that we couldn't mine it, but we were clearing all the, the skulk thing out and we were getting XP and everything at the same time, it was all good news, but we could not find a way to enter this damn thing. And of course we eventually had to give up and head home because we were running low on food. As you see, I have melons and melons are not a good food source. So we booked it up out of there. Alright, we'll go back. Village back there. Where? 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 Let's take in the village. Or we can take the beds too. We can actually live. Might be ready. So as you heard by what my friend said, we had to sleep because we wouldn't make it back in time. And it turns out that this guy took the only bed in the damn village and decided to hog it all for himself. After daybreak, uh, we decided to head out and go home. And we found something really strange, and we did not know the consequences of our actions from messing with it. Is this red obsidian? What the fuck is this? It's you, Brian. You think it's him? That's what, that's what he did last roll. Oh shit! No, no, don't touch me! Don't! Oh no! No! I'm going to you. I'm letting him touch you. I'm going to see if it teleports me to you. No! No! I'm just in the scout. Are you in the ocean? <laughs> no, I'm at some fucking stone island, bro. I'm in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Turns out we are both stranded. He decided to, to touch it when I, when he was supposed to. It teleported us. The silverfish teleported us in different locations. So what I did, I decided to make a compass because Big Brain Self decided to grab some redstone in the cave trip and head back to the main spawn. And I eventually made it. It took a long time. And when I made it, uh, Dominic was also there, and he was <laughs> he was stunned by what happened. I don't know. Get a lodestone, that's what we need. I don't remember which way we went this way, right? We went, but I remember running from here, Brian. We went through the swamp, so we eventually made it back. And the stairway is working as usual. And I, as soon as we got back, for some reason, I decided to work directly on the stairway and I started mining so I can grab more cobblestone to reinforce it. And it was almost finished, as you see right here, almost finished. And we had to call it, we had to call it because something was happening. Aaron, look at my look, 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 look. Can you do this? Look. You saw that? No, oh, you are ass. <laughs> I, I did it first two times, okay? Uh, no. <laughs> nice job. That was totally part of the plan, guys. I meant to do that. I had to go grab some stuff from spawn. But anyways, after that, I forgot to sleep. I finally made it back and I decided to get crops and stuff. I'm still working on the bridge, mind you. God, that scared me. Don't knock me off. Oh my God, he did put an E. What does it mean? Don't break it. What does it mean? No, it's in, he put an H first, right? Yeah, an H and then an E. He's probably spelling out his name. So imagine how creepy it would be if he spelled out his whole name and he powered up fully and we had to fight him as a boss. But anyways, we had to go to the nether because our curiosity was wanting to know what the nether would eventually look like with this mod pack. You ready to go into the nether? Yeah, I have to put a bunch of stuff in the really chest. Oh, maybe I should cook my potatoes. So we finally made the courage to go up to the nether and it's 
I'm pretty scared because you could lose anything and we didn't have that much food so I was pretty nervous but I was amazed by the scenery when we first walked in. How high does this go? Look in the sky. I don't know. It's not rendered you can, in. You can see the lava pouring down still. How high does this go? Mark the coordinates. Take a picture. So a big summary of this nether update, it's basically the same thing but with a lot more stuff added like biomes and stuff. We found this cool nether cactus or something and then we also found a fire bug but we found something way more disturbing. Oh, Ew, what the fuck is that? Is that flesh? Yes, that is flesh. It's moving. So after that long interview of looking at flesh, it was pretty gross. It made a mushy sound if you mine it. Um, we decided to look for some netherite and to best to sum it up, it was no luck. It was pretty waste of time. We ended up going back later on into the episode. But I'm not going to show that in this episode because it's a lie. I want to split it into new parts because I'm not really sure if my audience would like it. The first video did really well. And I'm very, a very awesome. Thank you guys so much. I had six likes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I love you guys so much. And again, it, it just, even if it wasn't going to get this much traction, I still enjoyed making this. And, you know, don't, don't be afraid to leave a like and subscribe. And with that being said, I love you guys and goodbye.